Hey guys, it is Vivids and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going over just a couple of things um, regarding Dungeoneering and obviously in the background I'm just going to be doing a abandoned floor for Dungeoneering and it's a it's a, it's a very very good time in my opinion. Um, I managed to kill, I think it was 11 minutes, 55 seconds, so be, uh, feel free to um, either minimize the screen and just listen to me talk or you can always just watch what I do for Dungeoneering or how to, how I key the 11 minute 55 second floor uh, but that was the first floor of the day for me so I was very very proud of that and I'm absolutely loving Dungeoneering right now uh, it's really the only thing that stop that is stopping me from getting the completionist cape right now I've only got 22 musics to unlock I've got two scrolls left to unlock for the reef walker cape and I've got um, there's something else as well but I can't really remember what the last one is because it's probably really insignificant but what I want to be speaking about to you guys today is the new Dungeoneering update that's going to be implemented into the live game. And that's going to be coming out, I believe it's this week or next week. But hopefully it's for this weekend, which is the double Dungeoneering tokens. And uh, so you've got 50% uh, extra XP and sinkholes and uh, double dunge tokens, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to be able to um, rack up a lot of Dungeoneering tokens and hopefully I'll be able to use those to um, buy my floors. And by buy my floors, I mean skip the floors. So I guess I should have just said skip the floors to begin with. But... I'm going, to, I'm, going to, that's, I'm going to be going over a couple of things that's going to be included in the update. And the first thing is going to be the uh, interface. So there's going to be a new interface for Dungeoneering. And what's going to be included in that is instead of having the... Um, you know, all the, all the different dialogue you have to actually scroll through before you can enter a dungeon. For example, you have to choose, obviously, uh, the complexity 6. You have to choose um, 5... Um, five out of five, you've got to choose what size the floor is if you want to choose the boss. And, you know, all of those... Um, all of those interfaces you have to scroll through, but with the new update, it's going to be all included in one up in one interface. So it's like, uh, for example, if you just it just opens up on the screen, and you just have to choose a, um, a couple of buttons, and then you can you can just press enter the dungeon, which will be absolutely fantastic. So you don't have to scroll through those uh, interfaces anymore. All you have to do is just you know click enter the dungeon. Up, I'm not sure what the buttons are going to be actually called, but instead of having to scroll through the text like I've just said, all you have to do is click a button, and you can enter straight away. So with the update as well, there's going to be a new resource dungeon, and there's going to be some new level nine. Uh, slayer monsters, which are going to be, I believe they're called Galgarian Demons or something like that, I'm not quite sure, but it's going to be basically southwest of the teleport, and uh, you'll need 90 Dungeoneering to get in there, so a minimum of 90 Dungeoneering to get in there, and you can actually get assigned these monsters um, if you have 90 Slayer, and you know, that said, I'm, I'm guessing you'll have to have 90 Slayer to kill them, and I believe they're going to be dropping some new, um, either... Uh, I think they're just going to be dropping some new weapons that are going to, be, going to be coming into the game. So hopefully that is going to be something that's going to be great. And another thing to note with the Dungeoneering update are three new pets. Now there's going to be a mini Blink, which is going to be awesome. And now I don't, I don't really know why they've done Blink as a pet. Although it is very, it's going to be very, very interesting to have a little Blink running after you with his arms flailing everywhere. You know, having some, some quite entertaining text. But in my opinion, Blink is the most annoying boss in the entirety of Dungeoneering because he's an absolute pain, you know. Um, to kill him is just, you know, I, in my opinion, you just have to almost get lucky unless you have four people that actually know what they're doing. So you have to have, you know, a minimum of four people that either know what they're doing in Blink or um, you just get lucky with, you know, pulling up the pillars. But, you know, all in all, I think the mini Blink is going to be awesome. Um, you know, although he is the most hated, the most hated Dungeoneering boss, well, that's, that's my opinion anyway. The second, uh, familiar, I, I guess I can call it a familiar or a pet, is going to be like Little Hope Devourer, so that's going to look, um, quite aesthetically pleasing, or it's going to be very aesthetically pleasing as well, Little Hope Devourer running after you, and also there's going to be a Baby Frost Dragon. Now, out of those three, I believe the Mini Blink is probably going to be the most appealing, just because um, when it runs after you, it just looks quite nice. Um, but, you know, the Hope Devourer and the Baby Frost Dragon may have um, other benefits to them as well. I'm not quite sure what the benefits will be at this stage, but, you know, let's just, let's just hope for the best and see if they've got some awesome um, benefits as well. So, new weapon is going to be the Chaotic Spear as well. And to acquire the Chaotic Spear, you're going to be needing a Zamorokin Spear um, and 10 Chaotic Spikes. So, you can either just buy the Zami Spear or you can go to the, um, the Zamorok boss and get one as a drop. It's up to you. I'm pretty sure you can just buy it from the GE. And you just get 10 Chaotic Spikes and you just attach the Chaotic Spikes to the Zamorokin Spear. And you get the um, Chaotic Spear, which I believe, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be worth getting at this stage. I don't know uh, what the DPS would be like with the Chaotic Spear. I don't know if it would be good for bossing. Um... In the RuneScape, uh, the button behind the scenes video, they noted that it would be good for the Corporal Beast, but I didn't really see a point in killing the Corporal Beast, to be honest. Obviously, you've got the Elysian, the Divine, and, you know, all the other Spirit Shields and stuff, but I don't think that's even worth doing, because I believe the drop rate, or the drop weight, the drop rate for those shields is quite rare, 
and they're not even worth that much anymore nowadays. It's probably more worth your while to go next or just to go like Virago and stuff like that. But obviously with Virago, you're going to have to have Seismics or Ascensions. But they're going to be an 80 melee weapon and hopefully they're going to be to our benefit. Um, another thing that is very, very um, prominent in the new Dungeoneering update is going to be the six new Necolaces. Now, I don't really know exactly what the new Necolaces are going to be um, for. I don't know if they're meant to be for inside the dungeon. I don't know if they're meant to be outside the dungeon, like the Arcane, like the arcane stream, for example. Um, if they're going to be for outside of the dungeon, I believe they're going to be like a range version of the Arcane Stream and like an offensive um, melee version of the Arcane Stream and maybe the defensive version of the Arcane Stream for melee. But, you know, that's that's just my thoughts on if the, sh if the amulets are going to be outside of Dungeoneering. If they're going to be inside of the Dungeoneering, I think that would also be a very, very good benefit. Uh, reason being because you have some more um, offensive boosts to get, obviously, high DPS. Get through those Guardian Doors a lot quicker and get those quicker times and get those, that better XP per hour. But that's my opinion with the six new Necolaces. If you know anything about the six new Necolaces, uh, feel free to let me know in, down in the comments. And, you know, I've left, the, I've left I, I don't know, the most debatable, um, the most debatable one to last, and then is buying or passing the flaws. Um, or, I, I, I just said something before, and I can't remember what I said. I believe it's just you buy, you basically buy to skip flaws, that's it. So you spend Dungeoneering tokens to skip flaws, and... Um, you know, yay, you don't actually have to do floor 1 to 29 anymore. Um, if only if you have, somehow you've got like billions and billions of tokens in, um, you know, stocked up in your rewarding trader. Now, I've done a little, some little calculations. Every single floor you skip is going to cost um, 720 tokens um, multiplied by the, um, what floor it is. So, for example, on the if you're going to skip floor 1, it will cost you 720 Dungeoneering tokens. If you want to skip floor 2, it will cost you 1,440 and so on. And um, if you if you wanted to skip floors one through twenty nine, you'll have to be spending three hundred thirteen thousand two hundred tokens on you know those skipping floors. Now, in my opinion, that is not worth it at all. Um, to put that in, into perspective, it's three million one hundred thousand dungeoneering tokens. Um, all in all, that will take you um, you know too many hours to get. On average, for me, it's about four to five hundred k, very, very roughly, dungeoneering XP per hour. That is then, you know, forty to fifty k dungeoneering tokens per hour, and multiplied that by like six or so, will get you about three hundred k XP per hour. So, if you want to be dungeoneering for six hours just to skip floors um, one through twenty nine, it's not going to be worth it. Um, all in all. You know, if you're just going to be doing C1 rushes with a four or five man team, it'll take you around an hour to an hour and a half to complete all of those rushes. So, in my opinion, it's not really worth buying those floors, but I then considered just maybe perhaps rushing um, or just skipping floors 1 through 11, and that will cost you about 47,000 tokens. Now, that is also a viable option if you're about 115 plus Dungeoneering. Um... So I may be doing that, and then also with the daily Dungeoneering challenges as well, you can always uh, do the furnished floors, so you have to do stomp and things like that. But it's really, really up to you. The reason why I don't, I'm probably not going to be skipping the furnished floors is because it's really, really expensive to skip those furnished floors, um, as opposed to skipping the frozen floors, which are quite cheap. So that's basically all I had for this uh, video today, guys. If you enjoyed, please give it a like, and let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think of the Dungeoneering update. But, but apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.